uh, renew its five-year capital master plan as its per statute, according to the Rhode Island Department of Education, started in 2019. Stage one, we did a facilities conditions assessment, but essentially uh, we identified $22.5 million roughly of needed improvements uh, in, in the district. These are improvements that need to be performed really within the next five to 10 years. These include HVAC systems, roofs that are at the end of their useful life. Buildings that are been in use for more than half a century and issues uh, including accessibility, uh, portables that are end of, at the end of their useful life. Some of the facilities are not uh, well suited to renovate for uh, the type of teaching and learning that we're seeing in your schools right now. We see that utilization at all the elementaries is showing overcrowding. And when we look in the out years at the 26, 27 window, uh, all of them are in that uh, red category, which means that they have crossed the 120% uh, threshold. Uh, so the option that you're looking at right now is an option that proposes new construction at Frenchtown, creating a three to five school for all students. In doing so, what we do is uh, create pre-K two at Meadowbrook and a K two at Hannaford. So essentially you have two lower elementary schools and one upper elementary school. Uh, again, every student in the district would have the same early elementary or lower elementary experience. They would be in a school that has an addition and renovations. So they would experience a, an improved facility. Each of those would be about four tracks. And then every student in the district would go to the three, five new building at Frenchtown. Uh, Frenchtown uh, was the best candidate for new construction. The one other note is in this option, uh, Eldridge is not necessarily a school, but could accommodate both administrative offices, uh, as well as probably uh, possibly providing a community resource. Um, why this option, some reasons why this option just proved to hit so many uh, of the items that the district is looking for and that we determined during this. Um, first is, is equity across the district. Yeah. By having Meadowbrook and Hannaford renovated, we provide the exact same educational spaces for the entire uh, lower elementary community. Um, the second is that this option does not increase any transitions. Uh, students currently go to Eldridge and Frenchtown and Meadowbrook and Hannaford, so there is no not an additional transition. And as we know that the, when we increase transitions, we increase the chances that there might be some drop off in learning at, at one of those transitions. As Manuel mentioned, the Frenchtown site is ideal for to perform new construction because of how deep the site is. Um, work at Frenchtown could be performed without impacting any operations. I'm at the current Frenchtown school. And then once the new Frenchtown was open, we could use the old Frenchtown school, which is actually the best aligned, uh, built the right way in terms of for teaching and learning. We could actually use that school as swing space. So the district would not have to spend money moving kids to a, a school outside of the district or somewhere else while we were in construction. So it keeps everybody within the district. And putting a school so deep in that Frenchtown site it could really help divert some of the traffic problems that we currently have on Frenchtown with, with the drop off in the morning and pick up in the afternoon.
let's begin at Hannaford. We do want to improve site circulation and safety. We do want to address outdoor learning areas. And we're looking to possibly demolish and rebuild some select educational spaces. So this is your existing layout of this. We start looking at programming, recognizing that we want to separate public spaces, gymnasium, cafeteria, from the educational spaces and take those educational spaces and turn them into learning communities with those features that we talked about, teacher planning, special education, and expanded learning area and create a, a new school through the addition and renovation, the addition that we would be planning at the end and the introdu introduction of those extended learning commons areas, spreading out special education spaces throughout, creating a new administration suite, basically creating a, a real sense of arrival to the new Hannaford Elementary School where we could highlight some of these special spaces. And this is just a quick rendering of, of what we're talking about. You can see how the media center could become a highlight space. You see how we're gonna create a new sense of arrival to Hannaford Elementary School that we want to introduce. These maker spaces, these STEM spaces, shows a teacher, a facilitator suite for teacher planning where they can work together and not in those cramped quarters and closets that unfortunately we've seen them in. At Meadowbrook, there's a need to improve the site circulation and safety and establish those outdoor learning areas and expand some educational spaces there. This is your existing school, and you see there is no gym here. We want to create that public space in the school, as well as introduce the learning commons. Here we would introduce pre-K as well, create a new sense of arrival. You see where we put in the gymnasium. Perhaps there's an opportunity for the stage to be shared between the cafeteria and the gym move art and music over to that end, those noisy, dirty spaces, and really try to take advantage of the core of that building to introduce maker spaces and STEM spaces. Highlight the media center and create a new pre-K K wing that could have its own pickup and drop off, its own dedicated play areas behind. Here you start to see the opportunity of some kind of integration to the high school and certainly create a new sense of arrival to Meadowbrook Farms, a welcome center and an admin area that is welcoming to new parents who may be coming into the community. This gymnasium that could have a shared stage with a cafeteria that's bright. Look at Frenchtown as really a, a transition between the lower elementary school and Cole. So you're starting to go from neighborhood schools that are smaller in scale to a larger community school, starting to step up the, the educational opportunities. And in order to do that, we did look at additions onto Frenchtown, um, but it really became apparent that in order to transform education in East Greenwich, a new building was really going to be much more suited to that task. As Chris mentioned earlier, we do have the advantage of having a very large site. We have the ability to build a new school in, in the center of this site, use the existing school as swing space, uh, the possibility of flipping some of the, the community fields to the front and then having a more school play area towards the back of the site. It is going to help us establish a community resource, a gymnasium, cafeteria can all start to serve as those community pieces. And then the, the learning commons are a little further back, a little more removed and, and have spaces where kids can feel comfortable and free. In our design, we focused on connecting that to some of the other spaces so that all of the grades and all of the different learning communities have the ability to interact with media, with music, with maker spaces, have access to admin, uh, art, music, PTOT, some of the special spaces that are, that are really going to enhance this building. Uh, but we've taken that community, that learning community that's coming from Hannaford and Meadowbrook, we've allowed a two-story scheme to continue to have the ability to separate grades into smaller communities um, where, where teachers can really have a, a focus on the student. And then again, that, that central core that connects the uh, music, media, gymnasium, administrative offices, and make sure that there, no student is very far from any of those resources. Same thing on the second floor art maker spaces, 
um, PTOT with teacher planning spaces along that corridor to provide great observation. Each of the learning commons and each of these learning communities very closely connected to nature and play spaces uh, between each of these uh, houses, each of these grades. This is how it might look on site when it's done, where some of the community spaces might be able to be moved closer to Frenchtown, a uh, longer access road, alleviating some of the pick up and drop off traffic. The, uh, the gymnasium and the cafeteria would be would create a sense of, of welcome at the front and be, uh, be accessible to the community for events. And then some of these specialty spaces that, that we've been talking about that really enhance 21st century learning. This idea of the, the learning commons provides uh, spaces and resources, connection to the outside, and a, a real co uh, community that uh, recommendations for the high school starting at the site we do want to improve site safety and circulation we do want to enhance the courtyard and expand learning areas within that courtyard this is your existing lower level plan and i want you to focus in on the girls locker room the boys locker room and that area to the right of it that's in the courtyard we introduced four additional classrooms in the courtyard at the girls and boys locker room area. We think that that will introduce some additional space that you could have. Uh, certainly we can introduce the maker space right above that to improve the girls and boys locker room. So we have developed some new schemes that enhance that area and improve that for PE as well as athletics. And you can see here those four additional classrooms that we're looking to add within the courtyard as well as improvements for art. The next floor, this is your existing, and I want you to focus in on what's currently home ec and the gymnasium. We're looking to take that classroom area that we have on the first floor of the courtyard and extend that vertically for another set of classrooms and commons and utilize that home ec area as a life skills suite, as well as take the gymnasium and use that ancillary area for a fitness uh, component. This is the fitness area. If we rotate the basketball court, we were able to provide this space to you. And lastly, the life skills suite. We want to expand those spaces for those students.